Yeah, hi everybody. My name is Jared Heidenreich. I've been an entrepreneur for the last 15 years actually. And actually I had a company at one point where we had about 10 million users and we were sending 10 million emails per day. We sold the business in 2011 to Amazon, but I, I'd say I learned a thing or two about email and why email is actually a great way of how to reach best your users. So, big surprise for you perhaps, but having 2,000 email people or lists on your subscribers is not the same thing as having 2,000 people on Facebook. Because Facebook, of course, the throttles of who actually sees what you're doing. And in essence, about only 6% to 2% of the people who reach, or you're trying to reach on social media, really see your message. Unless you're paying them every time you want them to see your message. Completely different, of course, in email, because you send an email, and 100% of the people have the chance to see it. So that, of course, means that um, eventually the opening rates are actually completely different in email versus social media. So social media has open, re open rates and read rates of about 1%, Facebook and so on, whereas email basically has a staggering 4% um, of opening actually click rates. So it's a very different way of how you can basically reach your users. And that's exactly why email marketing actually is one of those mechanisms which really, really work. So small spoiler alert, we are doing a Web3 email solution. We have actually opening rates of 30%. So 10% of what you would see in traditional email marketing. So email gives you the biggest bang for the buck. Um, about every dollar what you invest, you get $40 back. But there's, of course, a big problem because email marketing is not very easily e accepted, even though it's the biggest market in the world. 4.3 billion people in the world use email. It's the second biggest communication channel on Earth after the telephone, basically. And everybody has an email. So who doesn't have an email here? Oh, well, there you go. Everybody has an email. And every company in the world is using email to register and, on, and, and basically interact with their customers. So it's there and it's growing every day, even though, um, uh, of course, there's other and new uh, channels available. So the big question is now, so if email is this biggest shit and is why it's, really, if it's why it's working really, really well, why is it not much more used, actually? And why are companies channeling a big majority of their budget in social media and not really in email marketing? And how can potentially the blockchain and Web3 solve this dilemma? So number one, um, I don't know how you know how email lists today are generated, but very typically, email lists are generated through games. And you have these little boxes and saying, yeah, I also accept to receive these emails. And then you get the spam stuff. So very often, email marketing is considered as something which is not very intrusive to my inbox. People are just sending me stuff all the time, and I don't really want that. So that's, of course, why it's a negative image, because people really never really opted into it. Even in a small print, you actually did opt in probably at one point in time. But it has a very negative impact, and really the people who are kind of your gatekeepers are the Gmails, are the uh, AOLs, are the Eins and Eins and so on, who basically ensure or basically define of what really reaches your inbox. And very often also, you might want to get something which you don't get because it's actually blocked by the big providers in this space. Number one, so difficult to really reach people and really have a big audience, basically. Number two, in social media, you essentially have a lot of possibilities of targeting, right? I can drill down and say, I want to have this user in this country, for example, with this social profile. So there's a very detailed social graph because I've known and basically generated all this data. In email, you don't really. Because in email, it's kind of a black box. You're sending stuff to all kinds of people with a shotgun, and you're hoping that somebody is going to react. Even with a shotgun, it works, right? So imagine what would happen if I would know that you are interested in, 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 in sports watches, for example, and luxury cars, and I can target you specifically. Today, I don't know it. But if I would basically send that email to you with a great offer, very likely you would react probably. But today, you just get shit, pardon my language, right? So essentially, you get non-relevant emails, and that's the big problem today. So targeting, basically. Number three is actually getting worse and worse and worse. So in social media, you have all this third-party information, what you're generating, basically. So Facebook login, Google login, wherever you are logging in with your Facebook or your Gmail profile, they are collecting your data. Bring it back home <laughs> into the Gmail or, or Facebook enterprise world, basically, and then enrich that data, of course. In email marketing, it's super difficult because essentially the only thing what's there is cookies, right? Because cookies, essentially, is the way of how you generate and get data about users who have visited your website. And you know, cookies are going to get more and more difficult. Google is going down and down and down. So it's going to be even more and more difficult in the future to really get people's data and understand what they are doing and, and really do email tracking on this. 
So the question, why is Web3 email a very interesting way of how to get out of it? So about two and a half years ago, we started to think about, so what would happen if you enhance the email and bring it over into Web3? So essentially, we, what we did is we said, let's combine a wallet address with an email. So it's your wallet address at ethermail.io, essentially. Okay? It's a standard email address. It can be received by any email client. It doesn't sit on the blockchain, but of course, uses encryption and login with your wallet in order to access this, basically. What happens is, all of a sudden, that email becomes something super, super powerful. Today, it's just a communication layer. Okay? I send you an email, and then that's it, basically. But with this thing, all of a sudden, there's payment in there, there is encryption in there, and there's identification. What do I mean with this? Take the example here on the left side of a normal process today of receiving an email. Okay? So you receive the email, basically, and then you open up the email, you get an offer for I don't know, a T-shirt or something like this from Amazon. You click on it. I go on the web. Uh, I put it into my shopping basket. And after a lengthy process of between 10 and 12 steps, and depending on the payment mechanism I've had, I had to confirm it on my phone and everything, you eventually land in buying something. So conversion steps are very long. Breakup periods are very, very long, essentially. So you have a big funnel where you start here with 100 people, potentially, and you end up with potentially 8 or 9 or 10. Because the process is so complicated. So on Web3, this is going to change. So we are already doing this. So essentially, I'm going to send you an email, basically. In that email, you receive it on your Web3 email client, basically. You give me the permission to access, for example, your information. OK, where do you live? I want to send that article to you. Number two is you give me the size of your typical T-shirt, what you wear. And number three, you do payment. Because it's a wallet, right? You just transfer funds from one wallet to another because the email is a wallet. And the wallet is the email. So it's a completely different way of how you can basically interact with clients. And of course, because the wallet has a lot of information in it, that email will become smarter and smarter. Do you know what, which, in theory, which device knows most about what you are buying? It's a credit card. It's your credit card, because your credit card essentially has all the information, because you're using it every day, and you buy something, so the credit card knows it. And do you know why the credit card doesn't basically monetize that information? It's very simple, because the bank doesn't have a contract on a marketing level with you, right? Because they just give you the credit card, they transfer the data to MasterCard and Visa, and then obviously, so MasterCard and Visa don't even know it. Now, all of a sudden, this wallet, basically, is replacing in the future your MasterCard or your credit card. And the wallet knows more and more about you, because the wallet becomes smarter and smarter over time, the more you use it, of course. So then, of course, the email itself also becomes smarter and smarter over time. So I can target better and better, actually, in what you're interested in and give you specialized offers. So what are we doing here? So on the one hand, we are basically providing that email Web3 address. We have well above a million users. We are growing every day between eight and 10,000 people, basically. And at the same time, we basically offer something what we call consensual marketing. So really, the data ownership stays with you. I have my data. I'm the owner of my data. And number two, I give consent to somebody else that they can send me information about something. The basic layer is I gave a consent because I've bought, for example, a token or NFT from somebody. And that means I have given consent that, for example, I bought the token from you, that you are allowed to now send me consensual information. That's the base layer. It's like your new cookie. If I, tr if I sell that token to you, you're going to send him the email because I have revoked that conversation and say, I no longer, I don't have, I no longer have the token. Now target him, basically. So that's number one. Then number two is I can opt in and say, I not only don't want to have information from companies whose token NFT I have, I also want to be open to receive targeted offers to me, which match my interest based on my wallet information, basically. So then I receive emails which are targeted towards me. And what we do as a company is we take $10,000 from a client. We take between 50 and 70%, so between $5,000 and $7,000, convert it into the email token, and give it back to the user. So the user really has an incentive to interact and open up the email and gets a reward for actually doing it. And of course, over time, as this becomes real-time bidding and so on, the reward is going to be specialized more and more because the more I know that you're interested in luxury watches, I'm very willing to pay you something very re relevant for you because I also know afterwards I can track you because you've bought afterwards with that wallet something with me. So the email really and the whole wallet experience completely changes in how it's done today. It's the first thing. So you basically can target. The second thing is, and, and we discussed it before, some of the challenges, 
with this logic, I can go into the system and say, OK, I want to reach people who are based out of Europe, who are male, who have bought in the past NFT from a fashion brand, for example, Dolce Gabbana and so on, and who are interested in general in fashion and or finance. And I would then basically get, OK, you can target 134,000 people. I can spend the money and in real time basically send out that message to all those users in our network. So it's a very easy way of how to do email marketing and actually attract new users. And of course, we are Web3 users, right? So if you have problems today with Facebook and Twitter and so on to maybe do ads, well, we are only focused on Web3 at the moment. We're not only doing, oh, sorry, so just to, before this, basically, so it's all nice and shiny, but what are the results, right? <laughs> so the results are just amazing. So we started this about three months ago. So we have opening rates between 30 and 40 percent. We have click rates between 30 and 40 percent. We've generated thousands of users, basically, for projects. So large projects are spending a lot of money now with us in order to actually get their message out there because we are a very viable channel in order to get new users. So overall, yeah, two minutes. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I will be there on time. So three things what we are doing, because the last thing I think is also relevant potentially for you. Number one, email inbox. Number two, it's the B2B side advertisement. And number three, it's a marketing hub, where essentially we have like a MailChimp, which allows you to target all your users and manage them basically. And as part of this also, we are offering basically a complete onboarding process, where actually we also allow the token to be given out to the people and reward them. Part of this also means that actually you can put in a sign-in with Ethermail on your project, and very easily companies or users actually sign in with our username in your thing, and we transfer to you the email address and the wallet at the same time. So you don't have any more, okay, register with your email, put in your wallet. No, no, it's both at the same time. It's very seamlessly basically done, so you really have all the information together. And then the last thing, and we believe that's also very relevant, is we are really helping end users to onboard from Web 2 into Web 3. So if you go on ethermail.io now, you essentially just go there, you log in, you, you all have wallets, so if, I'm, pray, I'm praying to the, to, the, to the converted already. But essentially, if you are a Web 2 user, you have no idea about wallets and everything, you take your Gmail, you log in with your Gmail, we create a wallet, a non-custodial wallet for you, and the ethermail, and your Gmail becomes a wallet. I can go then, for example, on OpenSea and buy something on OpenSea with my email. It comes into my email. I sign the transaction in the email itself. The contract is scanned. I have a confirmation of what I've bought. And then I really have a user flow, which is something very familiar to people in Web2 because everybody knows email because 4.2 billion people are doing it. Token launches now. We have a big advisory team. We have a booth here in P41. So if you want to learn more about this, please come join us. We have at the moment have actually also a campaign. We're giving $1,000 advertisement credit for if you spend 1000 with us, basically. And we also, of course, are here to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much for your time. My name is Jared Heidenreich from Ethermail.